hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're new to my youtube channel and you're just coming across my face for the first time thank you so much for stopping by my name is Omo to my new subscribers you're so much welcome thank you for subscribing to my channel to my host subscribers thank you for always so coming watch all of my videos guys I really do appreciate you guys okay well it's belong that I <laughs> I did a sit down video that's because most of all the videos that I've been posting so far um, video that I've done so I'm just editing it and posting it okay so um I know by the title of this video you guys already know what this video is all about so before we dive right into the video if you know you haven't subscribed to my channel and you've been watching my video please ensure to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to turn on your post notification that whenever I upload new content you guys will be the first to be notified so guys our online training is still on so if you're interested in knowing how to make your product from scratch okay not pro mixing organic 100% organic on how you can make your product from scratch you can send me a whatsapp message which I'm going to be leaving my number here or here that's on the screen for you guys you guys to send me a message okay and now um this training is 100% organic like it's 100% organic so what I'm teaching in my youtube channel it will be different from what i'm going to be teaching you guys in this training so take note of that please i don't want to um people to misquote it thinking that is what i'm teaching in my youtube channel and is what i'm going to be teaching in my class okay no what i'm teaching in my youtube channel most of my videos are promising videos okay so um i'm not going to be teaching promising in this class rather i'm going to be teaching you organic on how you can make your product from scratch so without wasting much of your time let's jump right into the video if you guys see me look down that's because i've just everything down because that's me for you i really don't want to say things out of my head rather i need to like jot some things down so that i will not forget you know i have many things in this head this main things so i need to jot some things down so if you see me look down you know that i'm actually reading out from my book so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys on how you can make an effective body lotion now this body lotion is going to help to get rid of dark knuckles yeah your dark knuckles and also going to help to get rid of dark elbow if you have a dark elbow if you have a dark knee and a dark feet any part of your body that is dark this lotion is going to help to get rid of it so now i'm going to be listing out all of the ingredients you need for this recipe now this um this lotion is 100 percent safe yeah it's safe like it's safe so it's um should i say is a promising stroke organic yeah because we're going to be making the product from scratch so now i'm going to be listing out the ingredients yeah i'm going to be listing out the ingredients you need for this recipe so please pay attention one ingredient we need for this recipe is e -wars. yeah we need our emulsifying ones in this recipe because we're making a base cream from scratch so we need it in this recipe and also we need steric acid in this recipe and also we need some flour oil in this recipe as well and also we need grape seed oil in this recipe and also we need shea butter in this recipe yeah we need shea butter in this recipe and also we need vitamin e oil in this recipe and also we need distilled water in this recipe yeah you will, we are not using ordinary water we are not using tap water please distilled water is what we are using in this recipe so we need it in this recipe okay now we need the um aha serum in this recipe for those of you that don't know the aha serum i'm going to be leaving a picture here or here for you to get to see the look of the serum that i'm talking about so we need it in this recipe the other ingredients we need for this recipe is our pigment dose we need pigment dose in this recipe the reason why we need pigment dose is this in this recipe is because pigment dose is a fruity serum that uh, helps to exfoliate the skin for those of you that have tried out the serum to clear off your dark knuckles i've been getting review about this serum because i made mention of it in my youtube channel that is very effective when you want to get rid of your dark knuckles any part of your body that is dark so most people use it okay and people that use it 
give me testimonies about it so i'm um, including it in this recipe that's one thing okay you share information for people that really need it but some people that have not used it will just come to your comment section and say trash why people that have actually used it will give you testimony about the product so but nevertheless we are human beings it's not everything i would say that people will agree on I really do not bother about that okay so um, the next ingredient on my list is my banana serum I made mention of that serum that serum is very 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 good like seriously guys it's very good so I'm going to be dropping a picture here or here for you guys to also get a clue about the serum now um the next ingredient on my list is my snow white powder it's very very good it helps to um, lighten up the skin and also help to take off any form of have a pigmentation and blemishes help to fade off dark spots if you have dark spots and you use um snow white powder to make a lotion or a face cream is very very effective we need it in this recipe the same way um, we need um giga white powder in this recipe we need it those are lightning powders that we need in the recipe also we need the kojic acid powder in this recipe now if you cannot lay your hand on the kojic acid powder you can go for the kojic acid dip kojic acid Acid dip the it's stable compared to the kojic acid powder but um the one that is more effective like the one i so much love that i'm i'm used to that i've used this so many times in my formulation is the kojic acid powder yeah but um you can mix the two together yeah in a little quantity but just use it the way i just explained to you okay i'm just like saying it out loud <laughs> so we need the kojic acid powder in this recipe and also we need a grizzly in this recipe yeah we need a grizzly in this recipe grizzly will help to retain moisture into your skin meaning that it will not leave your skin dried when you applying this product on your skin because of the um the serums that will be adding into this recipe okay now uh, we need propylene glycol in this recipe as well yeah propylene glycol is also um good that will help to um make the active ingredient that you use in making that lotion to penetrate deeply into your skin so we need it in this recipe and also we need our preservative in this recipe which is German plus we need it in this recipe and also we need Zanta gum in this recipe so I don't know if you guys watched the video where I made use of Zanta gum when I'm making my base cream yeah so some people were asking me in the comment section was was the work of Zanta gum Zanta gum helped to bind in um, your product the water and oils all together and help to bind it up and also give your product this jelly and smooth texture so that's the reason why sometimes i love adding it into my base cream when i'm making a base cream from scratch which always i make my base cream from scratch anyway <laughs> so we need it in this recipe so it, um we need the glute c intensive whitening serum in this recipe uh, we need it and also we need alantoin powder in this recipe for those of you that don't know what alantoin powder is alantoin powder is an anti-irritant that helps to um get rid of any form of irritation that will occur when you're using this product so it's irritation like redness like inchiness like um um, eczema you know all those things so it will help to prevent it so we need it in this recipe and also we need a crew kenako in this recipe the reason why we are adding crew kenako in this recipe is because you no know, when you're making use of a whitening body lotion yes because this lotion is a whitening body lotion yes let's put it that way because you want to get rid of those dark parts so you need something that will help to lighten it up okay so um when you're making use of such um products you need to add your crew kenako to help to prevent green beans stretch mark or any other further irritation that will occur okay so that's the reason why we are adding it in this recipe number one which is our e worse we need 16 gram of our uh, ewas in this recipe steric acid we need 8 gram um sunflower oil we need 10 gram grapeseed oil we need 7 gram shea butter we need 9 gram the reason why we need shea butter is because shea butter has a healing property and also it will help to um moisturize that area without leaving it dry now um i would advise that's why i always don't advise people to do chemical peels on those dark areas of their 
body because when you do it it will like it will come back again when you stop using that particular product it will come back and this time around it will be even more darker than the way it was so i don't advise people to apply um peeling oil or peeling whatsoever on their dark part of their body that's a dark nail your dark elbows or your dark feet okay i don't advise people to do that rather use a lotion or a cream or better see oil that will help to fade it off not to peel it off no 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 don't do that so we need it in this recipe of vitamin e 2 gram we need the distilled water 80 gram we need the uh, ha serum 10 gram the pigment dose we need 16 gram the banana serum we need 12 gram um, snow white powder we just need 6 gram of it in this recipe Giga white powder we need 4 gram of it in this recipe the kojic acid powder we need 4 gram of it in this recipe and the griseline we need 4 gram of it the propylene glycol we need 1 gram of it the preservative we need 1 gram the xanthagum we need 1 gram the um Glute C intensive whitening serum. We need six gram of it in this recipe. The uh, allantoin powder that I talk about, we need just one gram of it. The crooked alcohol, we need two gram of it. Okay. Now total is um 200 gram of size batch of what we want to make as we are making 200 gram of this lotion. So if you're doing your calculation, you can calculate it. You see that it's the same size of what you want to make okay so now um once you have gotten all of this ingredient with the measurements which i'm going to also be leaving on the screen for you guys to see the first thing you need to do is to get your bowl once you get your bowl then measure out your eras your um steric acid your sunflower oil your grapeseed oil your shea butter measure all of it and add it into that bowl once you have done that set it aside get a clean container measure out your distilled water set it aside and also get another clean container measure out your snow white powder your giga white powder and your kojic acid powder and your island toy powder okay now once you measure all of those um items that i just listed out, okay which is our water face add a little water to dissolve those powders so you add a little water to dissolve it you on your stove then place your pot on top of your stove then add a little water inside then place the three um the three items that i made mention which is the powders that you have dissolved and also the oils that you have added into a separate container and your distilled water you have measured out place it on your double boiler for it to heat up a little now when you're doing a double boiler please ensure to bring down the temperature of the heat so that it will not destroy the potency of your powders once you leave it for some time you see that the oils and the the shell butter that you add into that bowl is melted down and your water is a little bit warm and your powders are fully dissolved okay once you notice that all of those three items are fully dissolved then you take it out guys i'm so sorry for the lightning that's because it was raining so i had to stop for a while so that to stop raining before i continue okay right now i'm going to be sharing with you guys on how you can mix all of those ingredients together so once you've dissolved all of those ingredients which is your ewas your um and your oil then um and also the water take it out from your double boiler once you take it out from your double boiler then you um take the distilled water it's like you pouring it then you have to keep stirring it to form the lotion so once you've done that you're done pouring the distilled water into your oil then you get the dissolved powders already dissolved then you turn it along with it then you keep stirring it once you stirring it then it's now time for you to use your hand mixer to mix it all together you blend it together so you keep blending blending and mixing till the lotion is formed once the lotion is formed now you have to set it aside and measure out the rest ingredient which is your serum and now you get a clean container measure out your pigment dose your banana serum and also the aha serum okay that i talk about so once you measure it out then you add it into the base cream now get another container 
measure out your griselin once you measure out your griselin also measure out your xanthagum add it into your griselin and mix it for it to dissolve then you set it aside then get the propelling glycol measure it out and add it into the base cream once you're done measuring it out meanwhile the xanthagum that you add your griselin into it has already dissolved then you add it as well into the base cream then you mix all together glutathione intensive serum you also will measure it out along with the other serums that you measure out sorry i forgot to make mention of it then you add it into the base cream okay now the crook and alcohol, you also measure it out and also add it into that same base cream and take your preservative let your preservative be the last ingredient that you add into your formulation then you add it into it and you stick blend everything all together so once you have stick blend everything all together then you make sure to take the ph level of the solution let it fall at the range of 3.5 five to four the reason why you're doing it it's because to help to you know work on those areas very well so you need to let it fall at that range so once it falls at that range then you get your container throw it inside your container and start using it now this lotion you only can use it on that particular spot where you have your dark you no know, your dark ties your dark nails your dark um knuckles your dark elbows you know those areas you have a dark uh, part you need to use it on those areas i'm going to be explaining to you guys on how you can use it give you an effective result that's your dark thighs your dark knee and your dark m now when you finish making this product i will advise you to get a sugar body scrub the sugar body scrub will help to exfoliate those areas very well yeah for those of you that will like um i want to have your kind of skin that's because i exfoliate my skin if i don't exfoliate my skin my skin will be dull the product i'm using will not work on my skin so that's why i always advise you guys to always exfoliate your skin so in this uh, particular treatment you're going to do that exfoliating if you like it or not you're going to do it if not you're not going to see the result but i'm just being truthful and plain to you guys now once you want to start this treatment you need to get a sugar body scrub that will help to exfoliate those areas which is your your dark knuckles your dark knee your dark feet and your dark ties get the sugar body scrub then you have to concentrate on your knuckles you, that's the dark parts you want to um, work on okay now let me explain to you guys on how you scrub those areas once you get the scrub you have to fold your hands like this then you use it to scrub it okay yeah use it to scrub it like use it to scrub it very well do not do like this and be scrubbing it no 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 no. don't do it that way do it this way and scrub it once you do it the same thing applies to your elbow you need to bring it this way not like this and you scrub no no, no. do it like this you know scrub it the same way you do uh, the other parts of your body once you're done scrubbing it then you shower off the scrub when you come out get the lotion this lotion that i talk about on how you can make it once you get the lotion then you apply it on those area now this is how you apply it on those area once you're applying it do not do your hand like this and put it like this no no don't do it that way fold your hand like this the reason why you're doing it like this so that it will be visible for you to see so that it will you know when you do it like this it's very clear for you to see it right then you apply it you massage it on it you massage it. the same thing applies to the other areas of your body but when you're doing it like this how will you it will not enter you're just rubbing it on top okay it will not no it will not touch it so when you do it like this it's open and it's visible for you to see it and you apply it on that areas okay now another thing is this when you you're doing all of this treatment you should avoid putting your hand inside hot water yeah you avoid putting your hand inside hot water or putting your hand inside something that is harsh like a harsh chemical those people that into skincare product like you you produce skincare always put on a hand glue that's why i always put on a hand glue when i'm formulating because when you're not putting on the hand glue and you're touching all of this ingredient washing your hands and the rest of it that can affect your hand so you need to put on a hand glue when you're doing that most of all these detergents you use to wash your clothes you wash your dishes they contain chemical it's not only cream that causes 
dark knuckles no those things can cause dark knuckles once you doing all of this treatment you need to avoid all of those things that i'm talking about so once you avoid all of these things my dear believe me you going to see changes stop using um chemical peel to peel off those areas because you worsen the issue try out this method that i just explained to you and this lotion that i explained to you on how you can make my dear you come back and give me testimony i'm telling you the truth because as you can see my knuckles my knuckles is clean the same thing goes with my elbow my knee you know everything is clean because i take good care of it so these are what you can do to get rid of your dark knuckles your dark nail your dark elbow and every part of your body that's your dark ties if you have a dark ties just do this uh, method that i explained to you guys you're going to see a result that's everything about this video if you love this video and you find this video very very helpful please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you've been watching my videos please ensure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share my videos to your friends and your family please support my brand i really really do appreciate you guys thank you so much and also stay safe and remain blessed and also keep a healthy skin as well okay bye Bye.